Welcome back, tech enthusiasts. Today, we are diving into the world of industrial network design, exploring a cutting-edge approach to ensure robustness and reliability. We're talking about ERPS, Ethernet Ring Protection Switching, and the innovative technique of daisy-chaining industrial switches. And we're thrilled to offer a complimentary tech design consultation. Whether you're navigating network complexities, exploring new security measures, or envisioning an efficient IT infrastructure, our team of experts is ready to provide a tailored solution just for you. So in the complex realm of industrial networking, challenges abound, demanding a resilient solution and robust network design stand as a key player, ensuring seamless operation in industrial setting where reliability is paramount. So entering our industrial switches, the unsung heroes of network infrastructure. These specialized switches are designed for a harsh industrial environment, offer key features such as readiness, wide temperature tolerance, and enhanced reliability. Yet, maintaining network reliability in this challenging landscape remains an uninterrupted struggle. So navigating through this intricate terrain, industrial switches emerge not just as component, but as pivotal guidance, and fortifying industrial network against the challenges that could jeopardize their efficiency and stability. An Ethernet Ring Protection Switching ERPS serve as a robust safeguard in network architectures, particularly in scenarios where downtime is not an option. Operating within ring topologies, ERPS create redundant path, ensuring a swift response to link failure and minimizing network downtime. When a failure occurs, ERPS rapidly switches traffic to the backup path and seamlessly maintaining network connectivity. This intelligent mechanism not only enhances network redundancy, but also stands as beacon for minimizing disruption, making ERPS a critical element in the pursuit of resilience and fault-tolerant network infrastructure. So selecting the right industrial switch is pivotal for a robust network in challenging industrial environment. The criteria for this choice hinge on factors such as environmental conditions, network size, and data requirement. Industrial switch options vary, and with managed switches offer greater control and configurability. And while unmanaged switches provide simplicity, ruggedness, reliability, and scalability a paramount consideration in this selection process. Industrial switches must withstand harsh conditions, ensuring consistent performance, and their reliability ensure uninterrupted operation, while scalability allows for future expansion. So now we're in front of the demonstration board, and behind me is our ERPS ring network by connecting four industrial managed switches together. And I'm going to introduce them. This one right here is our four port L2 Plus industrial managed PoE switch with SFP. It's compliant with IEEE AO2.3 AF and AT standard, support up to 30 watts of power output. And we also have the eight ports come in available. This is the eight port version and this is the four port and they're using different power supply. And up there, we have our L2 Plus 90 watts PoE switch. Now, this switch is compliant with IEEE AO2.3 AF, AT, and BT standard, support up to 90 watts of power. And last but not least, this one, we have our 8 port plus 12 SFP. This is an L2 Plus Industrial Fast Ring Managed Network Switch. And all of our Layer 2 Plus Managed Switches has powerful traffic management and QoS feature, offer MAC address filtering and VLAN capability, also support ERPS Ring Protocol, and allow switches to be daisy chained it up and get a backup connection. And they all have hardened grade rugged IP4 
40 aluminum housing. The extreme temperature working range is from minus 40 degrees up to 75 degrees. So without saying, let's do the connection step by step. So now let's do the connection from the beginning. The router is already connected to the NVR. Next, I'm going to use an Ethernet cable to connect the router and get main network data transmitted to our first switch. This is our A port and 12 SFP switch. For short, I'm going to call it the 12 SFP switch. And I'm going to plug in the Ethernet cable from the router and connect it with our 12 SFP switch. Now we're going to connect to the fiber optic cable using this SFP transceiver since this is where we connect with the fiber optic cable. Let's plug it in here. You see I plug in two SFP transceivers since we're using a two-string fiber optic cable. As you can see, it has label on each string and it's pre-mated so we don't need to worry about the connector. Let's plug them into the SFP transceiver. And the power supply is already connected to our 12 SFP switch. And coming over here, we have the two string 100 meters fiber optic cable. You can see we have string A and B. Now let's connect with string B first. And we're going to connect with string A later on. First, I'm going to use a coupler to join string B with a fiber patch cord. Just like this. You don't need the fiber patch cord if your device is nearby the fiber optic cable. Coming over here, we have our 90 watts high power managed PoE switch. So I'm going to call it the 90 watt switch. So you can see the power supply is already connected and powering it up. I'm going to connect the fiber patch cord from our 12 SFP switch to this 90 watt switch. And for this switch, I'm going to connect with the high power PDZ camera. So let me plug it in here. And as you can see, the PDZ camera is getting the power and data that it needs. Again, I'm going to use a fiber patch cord to connect the 90 watt switch to our A port managed switch. So this is our fiber patch cord. Let's connect with it. For this switch, I'm going to connect with two devices. One is our bullet camera. The other one is our wireless access point. So you can see they're both getting power and data. All the indicated lights are on. So this is all the devices and switches connect with string B. Now let's go back to string A. Again, I'm going to use a coupler to join string A with this four string fiber optic cable. I'm going to use string C for this time, plug it into the coupler. This is a simple coupler to join the fiber optic cable together. This is a 300 meters fiber optic cable coming over to our four port manage switch. As you can see, I plug in all the SFP transceivers so we don't need to plug them in again. This is string C. Make sure you match your string. Plug it in here. At this point, I'm going to connect our four port managed switch with the eight port managed switch to finish the ring. So plug in this short patch cord. Uh, this is the fiber patch cord and connect with our A port managed switch. All right, so as you can see now, I already formed a ERPS ring. We have two cameras displaying on the video footage on the monitor. I'm going to wave my hand. This is the PDZ camera, it's the upper left one. And this is the bullet camera the lower right one. So next I'm going to demonstrate how the ERPS work. As you can see, it already formed a ring. So the data goes either way. 
even though I unplugged the fiber patch cord from string B, the data will still transmit through here and go back to our main switch. I'm going to show you this is still a live video, the PDZ camera. It doesn't affect the camera. And even though the power supply is down, it will not affect the switch next to it. I'm going to unplug it so you can see. Now the power supply is already off. Of course our PDZ camera will not get in the power so it won't work. But still, you can see the switch next to it and connected to it will not be affected. I'm going to wave my hand to show you the bullet camera is still working. And here are some tips for optimizing network performance and reliability include meticulous configuration review and regular update. Challenges in ERPS daisy chaining, a common scenario addressed through thoughtful network design and strategic switch placement. An innovative solution and workaround are also crucial in maintaining network resilience. So by following this step, and embracing innovative approaches, industrial network can overcome challenges and ensuring a robust and reliable infrastructure. So for cutting edge technology solution and expert insight, you can visit our website today and explore innovative solution. Stay updated on the latest technology and discover how we can elevate your tech experience. Join a community of forward thinker and let's shape the future together. Your tech solution awaits at our website. So click to explore now. Thank you very much for joining us. I'll see you in the next video.